Hey, Scott Morgan with MorganStudios.com, and today I'm going to revisit triads. Um, and, and this time we're going to go in a little bit more depth, since we've covered uh, the chromatic scale, sharps and flats, and intervals. Um, before I just introduce that um, a triad is three notes, and that you're basically skipping a white note for each of the notes. Okay, and I also introduced that you can get minor and major tonalities by starting on a different note. Like, like if you start here, you get a major chord, and this is a minor chord. But I didn't really explain why, so this time I'm going to go into more of that. If you haven't watched the intervals video, please go back and look at that. But basically, the reason this is a major chord, and this is a minor chord, is the, is the distance in half steps between the various notes of the chord. In this chord, this is a major third, which we actually talked about, um, but I'll go over real quick here. This is a half step up, here's a whole step, here's a minor third, here's a major third. Whereas if you take this case, half step, whole step, and we're just doing minor third. So that's why this chord is minor, and this one's major. This, this distance between these notes is actually larger than the distance between these notes. So to make this chord minor, what you do is you shorten the distance between these two notes, and the way you do that is you flat the third. Keep this note the same, which is the fifth. So this is C major, and this is C minor. And if you wanted to take this chord and make it major, this is A, A minor, you would raise the third. So it's A, C sharp, E. Triads are basically, most of your traditional triads are thirds built onto each other, like we were just saying. And when you shorten one, it increases the distance on the top, right, if you shorten the bottom one. So for a major triad, it's, it's important to note that a major triad is a major third with a minor triad on the top of it. See here, we're, we don't have the black notes in between every single note on this one. And a minor triad is just the flip opposite of that. It's a minor third with a major third on top. There's actually two other um, important types of triads. Well, there's, there's lots of different kinds of triads, actually. But the, the, the main ones that are built out of thirds, there's two more of those. And they're the ones that have two minor thirds, which is called diminished. It's a very dark sound. Uh, it has that um, tritone or flat five that I introduced in the inter uh, intervals video. So you have to basically take in the, the fifth of the chord and flattened it, and flatten the third as well, and you get two minor thirds. This is very evil sounding. <laughs> of that is what we call augmented. That's when you have two major thirds. And to do that, you'd sharp the five. And this is a kind of really spacey, uh, Bugs Bunny got hit over the head kind of chord. So that's augmented. And um, just as a bonus, I'll go over one more, which is actually a really cool um, interval or triad. This one is not one that's stacked of thirds, but you could consider it of, of like raising, you know how we flatted the fifth and raised the fifth? Well, this is kind of like raising the fourth, I mean the third. Um, now you end up with a whole step on the top, so this is why this is not one of your traditional triads. But we call this a s suspension, and it's used quite a bit in music. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty, pretty fond of the suspension sound. 
I've used it a lot in uh, heroic sounding music that I've written. For instance, uh, Ascension. Basic, uh, I'm not sure I played it in that key, but anyway, that that's your basic idea behind the track, uh, Ascension. And um, you can either leave it like that, which I, I'm hearing more and more people do in music nowadays, but traditionally you're supposed to resolve it to a normal triad, so you go, go to major, or you could resolve it to minor. Another cool effect to do with um, these different tonalities is the switch between major and minor. And if you, if you listen to my album uh, Shrubbery of Darkness, there's some tracks that do this kind of thing, in, in particular the title track. I think it's a, a kind of a cool, spooky sound. That's it for the in-depth triads tutorial. Thanks.